Hey, what's up, my VGA crew? Welcome back to my channel, The Guy Appetite. Okay, it cut off. It said reconnecting, so let's do this again. Hey, what's up, my VGA crew? Welcome back to my channel, I'm The Guy Appetite. And today I am here at Jin Shabu with my beautiful cousin, my baby C. Hey, guys. My beautiful mama, Appetite. Her Felicity. And my beautiful auntie, Warden. All right, guys. <sighs> We're waiting for the hot pot to get hot. We have and seafood. We're having seafood today. And all those meats. Oh, yummers. And then the hot pot, we're waiting for it to boil up. How's everybody doing? I'm starving. I know. I know it. Hello, hello. Hi, my Anners. Hi, Annie. Hi, Noemi. Hi, Sierra. Hi, Chris. Hi, no uh, Betty Dean, Allison. Hello, everyone. How is the sound? They're playing really loud music here. So I put in uh, the headphones. I hope the audio is not too, too bad. Aloha, D. How are you? Beautiful D. Flanagan. I love lemon in my diet coat. Hi, Kelly. Mm. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Wow. Oh, so refreshing. Anyone else put lemon in their Diet Coke? Hi. Jose, yeah. wash your ass. That's what you need to do, wash your ass. I'll do jumping jacks when cuando te lavas el culo. It's Jose Bajena, mejor Jose Ballena. Do yamping yet. Do yamping yet. Hello, Sico. Listen, I'll just have you guys hand these to me instead of putting them on the table right here. What happened? What happened? From here, I placed them right here. And she has the audacity to tell me. Next time, I'll just have you hand them to me instead of putting them on the table right Are here. you kidding me? That's. Who said that? Our server. The one with the blue mm -hmm. eyes? What? That is rude of her to say. Wow. There was no need for her to say that. Yeah. What does she want you to do? Put it on top of your head? Okay. I'm not going to sit there and hold them in my hand for 20 minutes. No. Hi, Nevea. She said, hola, family. How are you guys feeling? Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patty's. Me and Mama are a little under the weather, but we're better. Hi, Tasha Perry. Alita Matthews. Hi. Hi, Catalina. Thank you so much for being a member for 27 months. Holy cow. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You guys to say a little prayer. Heavenly Father, please bless this meal and the precious ones that prepared it, that are going to prepare it. May you provide for those going without. You'll bless, protect, and provide for all of my BGA crew, my friends and family, their friends and family. In your precious name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 <clears throat> we rebuke all demons in this restaurant and on camera. <laughs> 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 
Oh my gosh. I got my famous sauce going. Right here, Sharon Huff. Love you all. Love you too, honey. Thank you for being a member for 18 months. My Lisa Levis. Thank you for being a member for 20 months. Happy Sunday, May. So happy that you love. So happy you're here too. Mira, le subió la música on purpose, huh? Extra, extra loud. On purpose. On purpose. I take my compliment back, bitch. You have ugly eyes. <laughs> when you act like that, mm hmm. All right, I'm going to throw these oyster mushrooms in. I'm going to throw the oyster mushrooms in. I love those. And then I'm going to throw in the shrimp. The shrimp and the crab. That is way too loud. No tip for her, I said Annie. Mm -hmm. Heck no. Right. Okay. So this is my peanut sauce with garlic. What, Mom? No, no. We're, we have allergies. Mm. That's my garlic and peanut sauce. What says to be boil? Hi, side. Can you guys hear the music? Wow. These are noise canceling um, headphones, and I could hear it very loud. I pulled out my earphone, and it's like we're at a club. Did she lower it? Oh, it's these. They just canceled out the noise. Yes, we're thinking of the music. Wow, well, yeah, it's not even enjoyable when it's that loud. Crazy. Okay. I came to have lunch and I'd be at a club. Mm. Did we enter a club, sissy? I know. <laughs> Y'all are in the club. I'm sitting here looking over there. I'm trying to Oh my god. I love this sauce and I love the rice with the purekake. Oh. Yummy. I wonder why it's switched up. Huh? I wonder why it's switched up like that. I know. Mm -hmm. Maybe that I went live. Hmm. I'm like, put that over. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Hi, Lydia. Yeah, hi. Did you taste the brasca? See if it needs um. Can I get the ladle to it? Let me taste the brasca if it needs some spice. Yeah, 
Is Carson here? Is William here? No. Oh, she's spicy. Her attitude your, your, to your responses are very feisty. What she say? It's at... That's that level? No. Uh, uh, exactly. We walked in and it was quiet music. Right now when she had that little whatever with you, she went and turned it up loud. Damn, there's always devils everywhere we go. Always. We even walked in so nice. My cousin's like, wow, your eyes are beautiful. And I told her to him, like, oh my God, girl, your eyes are so fluorescent and gorgeous. Crystal blue. Oh, thank you. Damn. There always, always has to be something. She got my my daddy got a new fit. Oh hey baby, hi my beautiful gorgeous scrumptious me. <laughs> hi my honey. Oh, so The little wooden cap. Yeah, she, that was no need for that comment. Comfortable. Thank you so much. Oh, she's sweet. I'm going to get you guys a new server. Yeah, we don't want her. Not the way she spoke to my tia and my cousin. Hmm? You told her nicely. You weren't disrespectful. Damn, it is spicy. <laughs> Do you think I was going to add more, Lord? Heck no. Stay your ass home, correct. Work in the back chopping the vegetables. Don't be dealing with customers if you don't like it. As for a zesty Italian, ooh. Amber. Um, just the waitress is being very rude to my cousin. So on top of the soup, you know how it has those wooden lids to bring it up to a boil? So, so look at, we have no room on this table. That was covered with meat. You know, it was packed right now until before we put it in the, in the soup. The table's packed. So we have nowhere to put the wooden caps. And so there's nobody sitting in the table next to us. So my cousin just put it on the corner of the table, right? Because we have no room. She's been trying to flag down the lady to come pick him up. Nothing. So then, anyway, she comes and she asks my cousin, did you put these caps on this table? My cousin oh, said, oh, what'd she say? Next time, don't put them on this table. Just give them to me. She told my cousin, next time, don't put those caps on, on the other table. Next time, hand them to me. And my cousin was shocked. She's like, what the heck? So my cousin responded back and said, well... Next time, um, what did you say? No, I didn't say nothing. You, you did when she was walking away. You said next time, um, I'll, I'll hand them to you. You said something. As she left, I yeah. didn't tell her. No, 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 I know. As she was oh, leaving, was what like, did you what say? What am I supposed to do? Oh, yeah. That's what my cousin said. What was I supposed to do? Hold them in my hands uh, here for 20 minutes so you came to pick them up? 
But I didn't tell her that. No, she didn't say that to the waitress, but that's when my cousin was like, hello? Like, what am I supposed to do? Play, uh, juggle with them? <laughs> there was no one at that table. And there's no one waiting to be seated. So that's what happened. Alicia sent you a hundred dollars. What? No. Alicia. Oh, we love you too. Thank you so much, Alicia. You guys put red hearts for Alicia. Thank you so much, love. Oh, that is so sweet and so generous of you, sweetheart. Wow, that is beyond sweet. Okay, let me try to get all my bush rooms. I hate how they just disperse. Yes, you needed to feel better. Hi, Clary. Hi, guys. Okay. All righty. Oh, I love these oyster mushrooms. Hey, what's up, Herbert? Just eating, bro. Mm, having lunch. Mm. I don't know, shirt. Wait for him to go out the door and take it out and do it again. Here's your tip. <laughs> exactly. Hi, Mariah Ming. She said hello to everyone. Hi. Oh, hi, Mariah. Mm, I'm gonna add my gyozas, my fish cakes, and my egg. Mm. Oh, let's add the beef cuts. Okay. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Here, I'll trade you. Thank you. This is the beef belly. We got four orders, guys. Oh my goodness. Heck yeah. Yeah, thank you. Mama? Yeah. Oh. There you go. Yep. So the beef is a cooking. We just added all the beef in there. Wow. Okay, now I'm here for the seafood. It's seafood Sunday. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I'm so sorry. You guys, yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll do four orders of beef belly. Can what I do you want? A couple bites for the water. And two orders of, you know what? Let's do two orders of beef belly and two orders of pork belly. And a diet coke. Yes. Thank you, brother. Um, what was I gonna? Oh, I want to give a big thank you to Mon. Mis palabras familiares. I love you, boo. Thank you for um. Uh, uh, getting my sponsoring mine and mama's lunch today. You know, we've been under the weather and sick, so she's like, You and mama need to go get some soup. So, what big shout out, Laman. Thank you, sweetheart. We are here. Wow. Hi, Kunam. Hi, Aurora. Yeah, no waiter. He's so nice. Mm. Anyone else stuck on the shrimp heads? So much flavor. Mm. 
Great. Thank you, brother. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Ah. You eat, I'm in bed, it's 10 p.m. I'm jealous. Oh, no. Rodriguez. Where are you? I don't know. Where are you? Where are you? That is 10 p.m. Hope you and mommy feel better ASAP. Thank you, my Jessica. We still got, you know, a cough and this and that, but we're getting better. This hot soup is perfect. Thank you, Herbert. Hello, enjoy your meal. Thank you, Janet. Mm. What is everyone eating today? Hi, Nate and Irene, Mom, Appetite, and Nana. Hi, Giggles. Hi. From the 5-5, five, five, man. I love sucking on the shrimp heads. Mm. Mm. And then you got to suck on the whole shrimp. Mm. Mm. You got to suck all the juice out of it. When it's packed with flavor. You know, if it's bland, plain shrimp, bad. Mm. But it's in this broth, and the broth is marvelous. Mm. Hi, Linda. No tengo nada. No tengo dinero ni nada que dar. Lo único que tengo es amor para amar. Mm. Chicken bulgogi dumplings. Oh my gosh. Mm. I <laughs> Mama said soup never tasted so good. Hold on. Go ahead. Mama drinking that hot broth. Get it, Mama. Hells to the yeah. Cayete. I'm craving McDonald's and a strawberry banana smoothie. Yum. <laughs> oh yeah, that beef belly is ready, baby. Ooh. <laughs> uh huh. What do you think? Stuck in my shrimp head. Uh -huh. I put some barbecue, spare ribs, macaroni, mac and cheese, be baked beans, deviled eggs, and homemade cheese. Oh my god. Girl, that's a whole feast. Tasha, girl, you know how to eat, boo-boo. That's what I'm talking about. Mm. Mm. Hi, Sandra. Okay, now let's go in for these crabbies. Damn, the broth is spicy. Look at all that meat. Uh. Wow.
Mm. Wow. Damn. Sorry, but I'm not talking a lot, y'all. I'm starving. Oh, we'll get another one right now. Yeah, better. Damn. I better get Kanika for it overcooked, huh? Is it overcooked yet? Okay, good. Thank you, my love. I hate when the beef belly gets overcooked. Look at this beef belly. Oh, and my gyoza's are already. Dale, cuz, ya agarraste? Sí, ya agarré. Oh, my fish cakes. <laughs> I'm gonna, excuse me, call it Abby. Yeah, definitely extra napkins. Yeah, no, I lemon. Yeah. Oh, okay, thank you. Just one. Thank you, love. Oh, my gosh. You guys, let's hit that like button. Oh, it's about to go down. It's about to go down. I got my fish cakes. Mm. Hi, Tara. Oh my gosh. Hi, Tara. Hi, Rosarita. I mean, Rosita. I'm going to get some cabbage right now. Hell yeah, Sherry. I love the Napa cabbage. Mm. Oh my god, the gyozas are so good. Mm. Wow. Let's try the beef belly. <coughs> I miss this so bad. Mmm. Wow. Oh my gosh, you guys. Nate, what kind of broth did you pick? Dara, we always get the same one, me and my cousin. We order the extra, extra, extra spicy tonkatsu pork broth. This sauce has peanut sauce, sesame oil, cilantro, green onion, chili oil, vinegar, soy sauce, and minced garlic. Yes, thank you so much. You are my biggest fan. I followed you for three years. Oh, Marlene. Thank you for your support, love. Wow. 
¡A la madre! Uh, ah, picoso and temperature. Oh. Wow, this is marvelous. <clears throat> Happy St. Patty's Day, everyone. Huh? I don't know. Everyone's saying Happy St. Patty's Day. Is today? Oh my God. What is it? Which menu? Oh, Bango. <clears throat> Damn, this is so good. Hey, Nate and Irene, does eating spicy give you ulcers? I don't know. I'm not a doctor, babe. I'm not a gastroenterologist. <laughs> I have no idea. Don't know and don't want to know. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying my food. I don't want to think about that right now. Y'all be asking some weird-ass questions while we're eating. Google it. <laughs> <laughs> Google is a wonderful tool. Uh, I use it all the time. Use your noggin. <laughs> if that don't work, then Google it. <laughs> the crab's done crusty. Oh, I am. I don't do. Oh, crab don't take no more than about two, three minutes. Oh. <laughs> All right. Me encanta el video en el que intentas comer 10 rolitos de jalapeño. Oh, eso los hizo mi mamá. Están, pero para chuparse los dedos. I might want to ask your doctor. We're just foodies here, correct? <laughs> Hi, dog alarmed. <clears throat> Much love all the way to the Philippines. <clears throat> we are in no way, shape, or form doctors. No abs. No abs, no abs. Oh, excuse me. Wow. Mm. Careful, Auntie. Yeah. We're tiny. teasing you, Olivia. <laughs> tiny, tiny. Don't be sensitive, honey. We know you're. We know it's just a question. <laughs> if y'all can't take my sense of humor, y'all need to lighten up your life. Because <laughs> we, I joke a lot. I'm very sarcastic in a playful way. Probably. Yeah, because we play a lot here. If people can't handle my sense of humor, I don't know. Marlene, cállate. Cata los seco. I'm just kidding. Dice, dile a tu familia que los amo y que, los, eh, que te amo también. Aww. Te amamos también, cariño. Gracias, corazón. Ya ves, así bromeamos. Jugamos mucho. Hi, Kayla. Hi, Kayla. She said, I'm still here just doing newborn mom duty. Aww. Enjoyable. Are they? Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. Wowzers.
You quit you. Miss Agus. Sorry, Mr. Agus. Hold on, let me see if I'm reading this first. Mr. Augustine. <laughs> uh, Mama's allergy is there. She's, you know, feeling sick. Not sick, but. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, let's crack this egg. Oh, this egg is piping hot. Ah. I forgot a thing. Ah. Oi. I hope I didn't overcook it. Oh, I think we're good for now. Oh, can we oh, get more broth? Uh, and we can. All right, you guys, let's go get some more rice and some more seafood. Oh, I know. Yes, mom. <clears throat> oh, this is a good thing. I'm going to do a couple more of these. Rosie. And then I'm going to get some of these. I put sesame oil, soy sauce, and a ton of furutake. <clears throat> oh my god, look at my mess. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm so wheezing. Like wheeze. Yeah, I'm gonna put it on right now. <laughs> Hold on, guys.
<clears throat> yeah, I'm just wheezing really bad. Thank you, my Lisa. Lord. Okay, it's kicking in. <clears throat> Can I put these in there? What? I should be. I'm gonna clean up here. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Oh. Did anybody watch Acapulco Shore? It's kind of like Jersey Shore, but the Mexican version. It's really good, yeah. I've been watching it. All right, let's try this egg. Oi! Damn, there goes my shirt. That takes me nowhere, man. I'm gonna be smelling like hot pot all day. Mm -hmm. mm. Cook to perfection. I think so. What? Mama messed up that lady works here. She does. Thank you, Chefy. I'm okay, my Jessica. Wow. I was just struggling to breathe a little bit ago. That's it. Nothing too crazy, just the windpipes closing up. <laughs> Look at all this food at Kake. I put soy sauce, sesame oil. Mm. I love rice seasoning. Yeah. Um, can I get another Diet Coke, please? Thank you. I think I brought my sweater to cover all my shirt up. I don't know. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> the what? The Flintstones. <clears throat> the way I giggled right now. How do you say it? The show? Mm, okay. Mm -mm. You guys, you know that that show where they go double double do. How do you guys spell it? The name? What's the name of that show? I never used to have a team. Ah, cousin. Oh, that, you're ruining it. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't anger me. Boil some water, add some honey and lemon, and drink it. Make some congestion. Okay, thank you. Flint stones. Then I'm from a different parent, a different dimension than y'all, because in the dimension I, I'm from, it didn't have a T in the middle. It was the Flint stones. See, hazel eyes and Linders were from the same dimension. Everyone's spelling it with an extra T, Flint, Violet, you're from the same dimension I'm from. I'm telling you, there was a shift in the world. 
in 2020, the world shifted. Was there a cornucopia on the Fruit of the Loom? Yes, there was. That's the only brand of underwear I buy because my You're muscle shirts. Was never there. I know. Oh, yeah. The Mandela Effect. Thank you. I love watching that. Yeah. I, I'm going to do an episode on it. That's why I, I was oh. talking about it. Yeah. I'm going to talk about all those conspiracy theories and the Mandela effect. Uh huh. It's the Mandela effect, correct, Betty Dean? I firmly believe in that. Uh, I can't wait. Yabba Dabba Do. Not that, the name of the actual show. <laughs> Not how do you spell Yabba Dabba Do? No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Just like JC Penny or JC Penny. It's, uh, to me, it's always been JC Penny because you can go and buy clothes for pennies. That was the whole model. It was you buy stylish, expensive looking clothes for cheap. So to me, it was always JC Penny. And now it's J C P E N N E Y. N N Y S. Correct. Really? Nay, hey, are you and Irene eighties babies? The I was 90s. born eighty seven. You were born ninety. I was 90? born eighty nine, but I grew up with the nineties. Oh, yeah, we're both nineties. I mean, eighties babies because we were born. She was born eighty nine. I was born eighty seven, but we grew up in the nineties. Flint stone. I don't remember it that way. Okay, the scrimpers are ready. Look at these scrimpies. Scramps. I can't forget about um, the Shazam. Oh. And how it used to be. You know what? Them. Okay, I'm not. Yeah. I won't touch <laughs> that one because that one's uh, very. What? Did it splash you? No. Oh. I'll touch that one in my video. Okay. I, yeah. Nos estamos yeah. Adelantando, yes. Okay. Yeah, because that one actually is very uh, special to me. And for that to have happened, I'll I'll, ta I'll talk about it in my video, guys. But yes, even say it shares. I am. You want to add the meat? So we have both. We have pork belly and beef belly going in. That's the beef belly, nice and fatty. Oh. <laughs> oh, do you want to do one by one? Uh, yeah, because I want to add my vegetables. If okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we'll add the pork belly in a little bit. Google it and it does slash did have the extra T. No. You're just Googling from what's part of this dimension. So, of course, of course, you're going to see what this dimension shows you. It never had the T. It's always been the Flynn stone. But with the Mandela effect, it erased it and redid it with the T in this dimension. Yeah. Yeah, Mandela effect. Nelson Mandela. Oh, sorry, did I pull it? Mm. 
You're part of this dimension. Huh? Mm -mm. No. I don't want no damn carbs. I'm here for the meat. Instead of human, I would say human, which in Thai means stinky vagina. <laughs> human! <laughs> Mandela effects would make a great topic. Yes, I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to do all my research. That's something I've already researched all the years. I know at the top of my head. But I'm going to take pictures and comparisons. And all that fun stuff. Is it going to be a video or a live? No, it's going to be a traditional video. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to go back to making my my videos again. I've had a couple people comment that. I miss your old videos. So I'm going to give them a original video. Oh. Mm. No. Yeah. No. Oh, wow. I'll pick up the kids on my way home. Now you better start roasting our asses yeah. with that. Correct. You're not of this world. You're not of this dimension, boo boo. Uh, no, I'm not home. And I got you, Miranda. I'm ready to go home. Oi. Okay, I'll call you before I go. Mm. Oh, okay. Hello, people. I'd love to learn all that, Nate. I can't wait. Yes, Ashley. You guys know. So I, I went on a um, history lesson on IG the other night. For those of you that don't know. I'm obsessed with British monarchies. I'm obsessed with royal history. I'm obsessed with um, uh, outer space, nebula, solar system. I'm a big geek, a big nerd when it comes to all that stuff. And I talked about it for like two hours the other night. And uh, it was very interesting. I really thought people were going to be like... Oh my god, bored. And I was so surprised that everyone enjoyed the topic. JH, the food is amazing. Look at this beauty. My mama <laughs> and my auntie. Look at this beauty right here. That soup is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Delicious. Delicious and nutritious. Not this light showing all my imperfections, my acne scars. Que la madre. Que la madre. Oh, thank you. Dang, I'm over to the table. Move. <laughs> Move over. Come on over, boo boo. All right. Let me put the shrimp. All right. Damn, I'm getting full. All this protein. Was that shrimp spicy? That I gave you? Yeah, huh? That's good, though. Yeah. The beef belly is ready. I think it's one of my cousin. I know she don't like it overcooked, either.
Oh yes, yeah, I'm talking to you. Wanna deal with me with no money? Oh no, I don't want no more. Oh, excuse me. Happy Sunday, Jessica. Jessica. I'm hella late, but I'll rewatch. Oh, thank you, love. Hi, my beautiful chills. The beef belly needs to get in my belly. Hell yeah. I poured you some beef, cuz. I didn't want it overcooked. Mm hmm. Mm. Qué rico. Mm. Wow. Look at how beautiful this meat is. Oh, mm -hmm. mm. Uh oh. Oh, your crab. Oh, wow. No, I finished my crab. I'm on my last one. Oh. Hi, Benaz. So, we rescued a new puppy, and he's a Siberian husky. And good lord, he is a little devil terrorizing the whole family. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, like my little mama. They're terrible. Aww. No. Well, not him, they're short, but. Bigger, bigger than him. I hope you have a wonderful life and don't forget anything in your life, and I want you to make a vid. And I want to make a vid with you, and if I see you, I would cry. Aw, Marley, you're so sweet, honey. Aw, that's so sweet of you. Give me some of that meat. Yes, Violet. Oh, it's so good, boo-boo. Very delicious and fatty. Uh-huh. Yeah, I didn't double dip. And if you double dip, you're my cousin. <laughs> we got the same mm -hmm. yeah. Shut up, Auntie. There we go. Show ass up, Auntie. Yep, I dreamt. Mm. I dreamt. Tell her, Julia, Tia. Um, no, no. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Mm. Oh my God. I'm stuffed. Uh oh. <laughs> And I still got pork belly and shrimp. Hell, okay, good. You didn't even get any. You don't want to try some? I got crab and I got crab. A couple of them? No? Yeah? Anybody want shrimp? Oh, thank God. Help me. Put it in your brazo porque están picositos. Yeah, they're cooked already. But put them in your broth because they're spicy. To wash the spice off. Oh, okay. I think this pork belly is done, no? 
What do you think? <laughs> That's beautiful. Ew! <laughs> I hate those water chestnuts. Yeah, it's like raw potatoes. All right, let's try the pork belly. I never eat the pork belly here. Give us the leftovers. I got you. Wait. I thought the character was a good uh, Where is it? Oh. <laughs> Nate, Irene told me her scariest memory as a kid with the ice cream truck guy. Do you have any <laughs> scary memories as a kid? Your turn. Oh, Lord. Oh, Let me see. You just said it that night. Who was You were eavesdropping on my conversation last night? Don't worry about Where it. Where were you? On what? Instagram? In, on Instagram? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so one of the scariest I've already talked about it it's a paranormal acti activity situation mm. happened when I was a kid after my dad passed away I did a whole video on it like four or five years ago on Halloween I did a if you guys google my paranormal activity stories I have a lot of paranormal activity story videos just Google, like, big guy appetite, paranormal activity. But anyway, my scare... I don't know if you've heard it, Tasha Washa. No, I was up until 4 a.m. because of Nate's stories. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I, I just retold the story last night. So, for those of you that don't like scary stories or ghost stories, this is your chance to click off. I'm about to get into it. If you love scary stories, then let's begin. So, this is back in 1999. I was about 10 years old, 11 years old. <clears throat> Hold on. Huh? Oh. okay. What does that have to do with it? Oh, and he's still yelling. So, anyway, um, Mama said there's kids sitting up on this table. I'm not to scare them, but I don't know. Hold on. What was that? Oh, we're done. Yeah. 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 Thank you. So, your tea was there. Mm -hmm. Oh no, Yuli. I don't have a massager. Oh, messenger. No, I don't use messenger. Um, I was gonna say massager. You better be hot and sexy. <laughs> So like I said, my dad had died. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Thank you. What did she said in here? No way. Oh, that was sweet of her. Gosh, dang it, cuz. Trying to save on the bill, drinking water. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, after my father had passed, my aunt still had her home, but she would come and stay with us every other month. Me and my mom were struggling emotionally, and and my aunt was there for moral support after my father's passed from cancer. And um, anyway, that particular weekend, it was. Uh, my aunt, the warden, Mr. Santos, and me. We were in the guest bedroom where my father had passed. 
Yeah. My mother had lived there almost 30 years and had never had any paranormal activity. Nothing happened. And then my mom was in her bedroom. So I had this little big bird. It was about maybe three feet tall. And it, you put a cassette in the back. And whatever music would play, the big bird would move its mouth and sing. Well, anyway, I had broke the beak, so the beak no longer moved. But I could put the cassette underneath its tail, and it would play whatever music. So I had in sync. Um, so I was falling asleep, and I had in sync playing, and I heard like a breath from in the distance. And so then I thought it was the cassette player, and I, I lowered the sound, and I heard it again. And then <laughs> I'm like, this, I start hitting the damn doll because I'm like, it's eating up the tape. So I finally turned it off and I heard it again. And I knew it wasn't the doll. So I said, Auntie, I said, I hear breathing in the hallway. I'm scared. And she said, no, me, ho, it's Georgie. He's breathing. He's snoring. And he stood up instantly and he said, no, uh, uh, it wasn't me, Grandma. I thought it was Nathan, remember? And so my tia's like, oh, no, it's probably nothing. And then I don't think she stayed comfortable. And, oh, and then she heard it. So then she goes and knocks on my mom's room. And she's like, sis, sis, we're hearing breathing sounds. And my mom's like, oh, it's probably the dog on the side of the house. He bre he sleeps and breathes loud. So anyway, we bring in the dog. And he walks in from the back all the way into the bedroom where my father had passed. And he laid in the same exact place where the hospice bed was, but no longer was. And we're like, oh, my God, we thought that was weird. So anyway, we go back to bed. This time we heard it loud in the hallway and my tia tiro el grito. My tia, ah! my tia gets up. Me and Georgie are running behind her. We're scared. She practically breaks down my mom's bedroom door. And she's like, sis, sis, we heard it. We heard the breathing. It's loud. And my mom gets up and, what? And then my mom heard it. And she grabs the Bible. And my mom's at the at one end of the hallway with the Bible. And she's like, saying my dad's name. If it's you, you need to leave us alone. Go to the light. You passed away. You're scaring your son. You're scaring me. Leave us alone. If you're something else, another entity, you need to leave. This is the house of the, of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, we were all praying. When all of a sudden, we heard it loud and clear. It echoed in the hallway we were in. My mom said, fuck that. And we all ran. We all ran. My mom's like, pack a bag, hurry. We all start throwing shit in a backpack, in a bag or whatever. And we did. In the middle of the night, we drove to my sister's house. May she rest in peace. My uh, Mariah's mom. We drove to her house and we're banging on her door. Pa, 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 pa. So finally she wakes up and answers the door. She's like, what's going on? And my mom's, we're all crying. My mom's like, the house is haunted. We heard breathing and this and that. We had to leave. And my sister said, come in, come in. We stayed the night there. But um, shortly after that, we had to sell the house. Because I think we went back for a short time, huh? We went back. And my mom started experiencing paranormal activity stuff while I was at school by herself. And my mom is a non-believer of that, you know, growing up because we were raised Pentecostal, very strict, old school Pentecostal. And we do not believe in that. We believe that when someone passes, their spirits don't roam the earth. They go into a limbo like a, a waiting room and await judgment day. So our church never taught us to believe in like paranormal stuff. So for that to happen, we we were non-believers and then turned believers. What did you say, Maya? Ain't no one can tell you what? My mom said, there ain't no one in this world that's going to tell her no more. That ghosts do not exist. Unfinished business, yeah. Yeah? Purgatory. 
Leah. Your dad was probably trying to tell you something. We went outside and we circled the house all around the dog. The dog was nowhere near the side of the house. Yeah, it was uh, it was real. First footstep. Five. Did. You did. Five witnesses. Five witnesses. I believe ghosts and spirit guides are different. Mm -hmm. Was it emotional when you guys saw the house? Or a huge relief. It was both. A huge relief and then emotional. That was my childhood home I grew up in. Huh? That was almost 30 years. 30 years? My mom lived in that house almost 30 years. In 69. No, I wonder if the people that live there now experience that. I wanted to go back and ask the people that bought the house. They're still they still live there. And ask them, have you guys experienced any paranormal activity? Because my I don't know if they know my father passed in the in the guest bedroom of the house, the last bedroom of the house. I don't know if they know that. By yourself? No one better tell me anything. Oh my God, I'll probably go with them. Oh my God, I watched another YouTuber and she said she sold their mom's house years ago. After she passed, and the owner recently called saying she had been hearing and seeing things since she bought it. Oh, oh. I love your sunglasses. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I love that they're super big. The first one is 50s. Yeah. Or things would move. Built in the liquor bar. Yeah. 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 She said that they went crazy one day looking for the keys, top and bottom. They flipped the whole house, and then they walk into the kitchen, and tiró el grito. They were sitting right on the counter. They had open cabinets. Everything. They were sitting right in plain sight in the cabinet. Oh, the showers? The towels damp and the, you know, the sliding door glass covered in water. And there was no way anyone could have gotten in. This is before any, when she was skinny and working professional jobs. When she was in her right state of mind, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah, that house. It was from the 50s. It was old. It was. Yeah. Owned it, had passed it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, have you guys heard everything my mom's saying? I don't know if you guys could hear her. My mom's telling a, uh, a story. Right, Tasha? I don't think it's our brain. I think it's real. It has to be for more than one person. If it was one person that's experiencing this in a room of people and no one else can yeah. see it but that one person, that's, you're going crazy. That's your own brain. Yeah. 
But you're telling me five people are going to hallucinate the same exact thing? Even children. Children and adults. Me and my cousin were little. We were about 10 years old. Huh? Oh. <clears throat> oh, no, they can't hear you, anything you're saying. My mom was telling the story of how my sister's house was haunted. We can barely hear her. Nay, I could listen to you, Mama, and Irene tell stories all day. Thank you for sharing. Oh, you're welcome, Tasha. I'll have to do another story time. Oh. <laughs> My tia said, oh, if only you heard their scary stories growing up. Yeah, we. You're still not done? My cousin is still adding stuff to the broth. Oh, my God. She's still adding stuff, guys. <laughs> Look at my tia. Cut it. We had enough. Oh, I'm going to cry. <laughs> oh. I ate half of it. What are you talking about? Oh. No, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, are you full? What is she doing? What are you doing? Yeah. Uh huh. What are you doing, Cabrona? Oh, I thought you were doing uh, bunny ears. Oh, oh, yeah. You're trying to hit me. You're trying to hit me. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh. up. Oh. <laughs> oh, the sad face. Leave her. I was touching Cena Ghost when I was younger, Virgin. Really? Oh, that's scary. Huh? Oh, I thought you were talking to me. My favorite video is your tendon hot pot. And, oh, my God, that's going to happen again. I've been telling my mom I want hot um, tendon so bad. Honey, I'll eat soup winter, summer, spring, and fall. Yeah, my mom only winter. Delicada. <sighs> What's up, Wallet World? Wale, 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 I really, really wanna watch my body. You don't say when we go. I say when we go. Yeah. <laughs> I miss the food, huh? I want some of this correct. Well, it well, you sure did. Cabrona. Hey, big mama, seven good. Thank you. Hmm. The rice is stupendous. Oh, there's some, oh, there's no water. Hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me. A big thank you to mine. Thank you, my love. I truly, truly appreciate you with all my heart. Um, if uh, you're new here, you know what to uh, do. Hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. You guys, go show some love to my cousin, La Gordicite. And then we got the mamas, Mama Depatite. 
and the warden. <laughs> they look done. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, besitos. Don't forget to hit that like button on your way out. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button, guys. Let's hit that subscribe and the like button. All right, guys. I love you. God bless. Besitos. Have a good day, too. Thank you, guys.